Hey, Chris Hesselbein here. I'm going to be showing you how to make an automated XP calculator and leaderboard for your classroom using Google Forms and Google Sheets and Google Sites. Uh, there are two different solutions I've come up with. Uh, one is the basic XP calculator, which we're covering uh, in this video. Uh, that's good for elementary classrooms, uh, classes up to 75 students. There's also an advanced uh, XP calculator, which is good for multiple classes in a secondary setting with up to like 500 students. So um, today, again, we're going to be doing the basic one, just one class, uh, maximum 75 students. Uh, the first thing that we need to do to set this up is we're going to have to create a Google form. So on this form, each question is going to represent one student in your class. And you are going to be using the question title as the, the avatar or the student ID, whatever is going to be visible on the leaderboard. It could be a student's real name, but um, if you want to use an avatar instead, you can turn on the description in each question and you can put the student's real name in the description so you as a teacher know what you're, uh, which student you're looking at, but then the avatar will show up on the leaderboard so you don't have to display real names on your leaderboard. Once you have gone through and you have made one question for each student, so this is like Leonardo is the avatar and Chris Hesselbein is the real name, you've done this for each student, you are going to create a spreadsheet for this. So you go to your responses, you click the green button, and it brings up a spreadsheet. And this is where all your data is going to uh, be entered for your form. So every time you enter in points, it's going to go into this spreadsheet. Now, we're going to have to take all this data and put it together and rank it, and this is what I've made for you. So we're going to go to insertcoin.org, and we are going to find the basic XP calculator. And this blog post right here walks you through what we're doing today. And so we're going to skip ahead just to step four, because that's where we are. Um, XP calculator and leaderboard spreadsheet, we're going to click on that. This is a blank template that you're only going to be able to view. So you're going to have to take this and copy this into your results spreadsheet. So down at the bottom, I'm going to use the drop down menu and I'm going to click copy to and I will find my recent files and that's my spreadsheet that I've been working with. So I could copy it to that. So once I copy it to that, when I look at my response spreadsheet, now I'm going to have a copy of the XP calculator in it. The next step is that you have to set this up to, to work with your classroom. The first thing you're going to look at is the yellow section on this XP calculator. This is where you can adjust how much experience points are needed to move up to the next level. And you can also uh, give titles to each level. And you can customize it to whatever theme works for your game. So I've just put in some examples for you. The next section is the blue section. The blue section is filled in for you from your Google Form, so don't worry about doing anything with the blue section. That should be automatically coming up as you enter data. The only other thing that you really have to set up in this is the orange section, the guild associations. You can put your students into teams or guilds and it will break those stats out for you. Just make sure that the guild name is the same for everyone that's associated with it. I just used A and B as an example so everyone is associated with a guild. Then you can take a look at the green section. The green section is automatically filled for you. You don't have to do anything. Now this is the place where it takes your scores and ranks them by order. And all of that data is then dumped into uh, the purple section, which is the total class XP, a little bit lighter purple section, which is your guild leaderboard, which shows guild points. It also breaks it out into average points per player by guild. It's just in case you don't have an even number of people on a team. I've also included for you a top 10 leaderboard, a guild leaderboard, and a total XP chart. And we'll talk about how to get those out to a website in just a bit here. But in order to get this stuff viewable, you got to make sure that you go to your sharing options on your spreadsheet and you can click advanced and you can change this from private access 
so that anyone on the web can view this stuff. Otherwise, it won't be viewable on a website. So I will save that. And I know it's good when I see the little globe up by the, the sharing button. OK, we created a form. We have set up our, our uh, spreadsheet for our calculator. Now we need to go to a Google site. So you can just make a quick Google site. Love the new Google sites. And what you can do is just insert these charts right into your Google site. Uh, how I did that is over on the side, just click Charts. Then I selected my XP calculator and leaderboard. Actually, it's the uh, example input here. Got a lot of calculators. Um, and then it shows you the available charts that you have uh, for you. So you can select it and add it in, and it'll just uh, throw a, your chart up onto there. Okay. So the nice thing is that when you... Uh, when you put in your your form, when you input data into your form, uh, it will automatically update your website. You won't have to touch it. That's the beauty of this system. So, um, yeah, that should be it. Uh, for more information on gamification and other leaderboard solutions, you want to check out the advanced one, you can head on back to insertcoin.org. Uh, there is a lot of information on gamification. I have my uh, Insert Coin series, kind of walks you through my philosophy of gamification. Um, and if you're really getting into leaderboards, be careful because they're a balance of fame and shame. So check out my six tricks for shameless leaderboards. Um, let me know if you like this, if you need any help with it, and uh, have fun gamifying your classroom.